Hey guys, welcome to the farm. Um, today I was just sitting here thinking about my garden. I was I'm actually sitting at my vanity right now. Um, and I was thinking about my garden and I was putting my makeup on um, and I was wondering how many other people have a hard time keeping track of the things in their garden. Um, I don't so much have a problem with my flower beds per se, but with vegetables, especially this year, in the, in the past I've, I've dabbled in vegetables for the last 10 years, but I've never like, really done well in an established vegetable garden. I mean, we've plowed um, plot, lot, plots of land to do in-ground plantings for vegetables, but you know, my family, they just always end up tilling the grass in and then the grass by July is so bad that I just give up and whatever, you know, is harvestable outs, you know, in the garden with the grass intermingled in it, that's what we eat. Um, but we never like really, I get so distracted by keeping my flower beds looking pretty that I just, if it's pretty space, that's where I'm, I'm at. And my vegetable gardens were never really pretty, so I just didn't spend a lot of time in them. Um, but this year, as you see in the previously uploaded video, that I, um, I we did put in a nice raised bed garden this year. So, and then with it being raised beds, the weeds are gonna be a lot more manageable. Um, and I am planting them pretty heavily, so their soil is not really, going to be showing so there's not going to be a lot of seeds that can germinate underneath the foliage of the plants hopefully that'll come up it's still pretty early this year it's only may may 15th may 15th um but I did stumble across a great way to keep track of my plants because I've done the journals um I've had three ring binders with the clear plastic cellophane sheet whole page holders where I stick plant tags in them. Um, I have piles of plant tags all over my house because I never make time to make those three ring binders look very nice. Um, and I, I just, I, I do have Instagram and now I'm gonna try and make videos to try and help keep track of things. But something that I have found that I actually enjoy, I can do it anywhere and um, it looks pretty and it keeps me very organized and it's fairly simple. And that is a garden app. I have an app on my phone that I really have decided that I love in the last month of using it. Um, I did download probably up to almost a dozen different garden apps. I tried like the burpee one and sow to seed I think is the other one. Spoon, seed to spoon, seed, seed to spoon, that might be the other one. Um, I tried, there's like I said, a burpee and um, a bunch of them. I tried a bunch of garden apps and you know, I was trying to keep up on updating all of them to see which ones I liked and had the information that I wanted because you know, I'm growing a lot of things that I've never grown before. I'm growing artichokes this year. I've never grown artichokes or Brussels sprouts. I don't, I don't know exactly off the top of my head how many days to harvest is that. I'm not sure. Um, I, I have it written down, but if I want to know at a glance, that's why I want this app. Um, so I tried to find an app that could categorize my plants, keep track of pictures that I'm taking of them for updates, and also kept track of like information I want to know about the plant. So maybe next year when I'm planting my garden, I know what I want to plant again um, and when to harvest. Now I really wanted an app that gave me a reminder, like I could set a reminder for later this year um, to say, hey, check out your Brussels sprouts. It's probably time to pull them. <laughs> But I haven't had much luck with the reminder settings, but this one that I have now, when you put the day to harvest, here, I'll show you. Here is the app. It is an iPhone app. Um, and this is the main home screen where you can put in the different types of gardens and sort them by year or type or name. And then this is my garden, my raised bed garden, and I can put lots of information about what I'm doing to the beds, whether or not I'm having any issues, whether or not I put in soil amendments and when. You can also put this in a log elsewhere, but I find this spot very helpful to keep basic information and to see the overall pictures of the garden. Um, you can change the different types of garden if you don't have a raised bed garden, so you don't have to do this. But here's the pictures that I keep track of. This is how I keep track of my my tags now I can just toss them because if I want specific information or maybe I find out more information I can always add it to the details for those pictures here's the list of all the plants that I have in my barn garden I have quite a few that's why it's so hard to keep track but in this way I can keep pictures of the tags just in case they get messed up when I first plant them in and I can put any type of variety I want it is free typing um, and I can put the number of rows or the number of actual plants that you want it's however you want to do it it's very custom 
customizable. Um, you can also put in your date to maturity and any kind of information you want about it, like where you obtain the plants. Like I got mine from a store called Perennials Greenhouse, so I can remember next year where I got them. Um, this is a great place to put lots of information that you want to know and keep track of so that next year you're not trying to remember which plants you liked, where you got them, and what kind of problems you had with them or what kind of great success you had with them. I also love the fact that I can take progression pictures as well. Um, so here I'm just showing you more plants that I have and other ways that I put information about them in the plant list for you to refer back to later. You can also put a different layout or you can design your garden in a layout. My garden's so big, I this I didn't have very much use for, but here I'll show you how you kind of move the plants that you have in your plant list around on this grid. Now this is the spot where you can go to look at all the pictures and you can sort them by the type of garden or the date the picture was taken. You can upload a picture to this app several days after or even months after, but the post dated, the postmark date on the photo is what's gonna show up as the date. Um, you can also in, tap in logged information about your garden. Besides the spot where you keep information in the actual garden tag, you can also type into this log. Like here, I just put that I added biotone today. Here is a spot where you can add things like reminders or they call it a to-do list. You can free type into it and it will pop up on your phone later. But I kind of liked in the plant list how um, you can do the harvest dates there. But here, if you want to remind yourself that you need to do some kind of task like amend or potentially water or whatever it is that you want to remind yourself to do later in the season, this is a great place to do that and it does pop up as a reminder on the actual on your phone like a notification so i really did like this feature even though i found myself not using it near as much as i thought that i would thank you guys for watching